Control is an action-adventure game developed by Remedy Entertainment and published by 505 Games. Originally released on the PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on August 27th, 2019. For this review, I will be looking at the PS4 version. Control revolves around the Federal Bureau of Control, a secret United States government agency tasked with containing and studying phenomena that violate the laws of reality. As Jesse Faden, the Bureau's new director, she explores the oldest house, the FBC's phenomenal headquarters, and utilizes powerful abilities in order to defeat a deadly enemy known as the Hiss, which has invaded and corrupted reality. Control is a very weird game, and that's not a negative, that's actually one of the biggest positives. It's just so weird, and there's nothing like it out there in the gaming world. And I really appreciated how original it was with its storytelling and just the overall atmosphere. For starters, the building that you're in is just so weird. Like, everything is so connected and it just moves all around. It's very hard to explain, but the oldest house has these rooms that just keep shape shifting and it's just it's intense at first glance you'll probably be confused but once you start getting into the game and reading the documents and seeing all the different things they can interact with like the TV show that shows you the puppets things start to make a little bit more sense but at the end of the day this is a very weird game and I could see some people being confused, however, I really enjoyed it and I thought the story was awesome. Jessie Faden is a pretty cool character. She takes no bullshit and she's a badass. She's not afraid to go into the fight, but she is worried for her life. And I think that's a very cool thing about her is the fact that she's a badass, but she is human. And speaking of human, I really do appreciate and like the fact that they introduced a brother character for her. That happens towards the middle of the game, but it does humanize her character a lot and it makes her relatable. While Jesse and her brother and Ati the janitor are very interesting characters, the rest of them, I can't say the same. While they're all pretty cool, they're only there just for exposition, and it would have been cool to hang out with them more. If your game is going to be called Control, you gotta have some good controls, and this game plays super well. I played it on the PlayStation 4 and it just played smoothly. I had so much fun. Whenever I picked up that controller, I just couldn't put it down. I was so addicted to this game and I had a lot of fun. I also really like some of the puzzle elements to this game. There isn't a lot of puzzle solving in this game, but there is involving a motel and some other puzzles here and there. Not a lot, but I really appreciated those. I played this on my base PS4, and I'm pretty sure it'll look better on PlayStation 5 or PC. I still think it looks really damn good. What was cool about this game is that during some cutscenes, not a lot, but sometimes it'll transition to a more live action approach. And it was kind of cool because it looked so good that when it transitioned to the live action, I was genuinely thinking that was the game graphics, but no, it was just the live action. And it was really cool to see that little transition. It doesn't happen a lot, but when it does, it looks damn good. The soundtrack was pretty good for the most part. While it did set the mood and it fit very well, it's just not something I would listen to. However, there is a song later in the game towards the end that is really cool and I did listen to. And that was a cool song when you're mowing down enemies. It's pretty cool, but for the rest of the soundtrack, it just wasn't for me. All of the acting in this game was well done. Every actor gave their best performances, especially Courtney Hope, who voiced Jesse Faden. And I thought Courtney did a fantastic job voicing this character and really bringing the character to life. Overall, Control is a fantastic game. It's got some really awesome gameplay, and the story, while not perfect, is pretty good. I do have some problems with the story, mainly the side cast, like I mentioned when I was talking about the characters. And while I do not believe that the ending is paramount, the ending to this game was a little bit lackluster. Uh, it wasn't a bad ending, it just wasn't something I was expecting, and I was kind of... 
I was kind of wanting something bigger than what we got in the end. I don't want to spoil it, but don't let that discourage you. This game is still amazing, and the ending is not paramount. Don't believe that shit. Play the game, have fun with it, and you'll be good. But don't take my word for it. Hey, Captain Algebra, what did you think of this game? Hey, everybody. Captain Algebra here. First of all, thank you, Jay Chips, for asking me to be a part of this. Control is one of my favorite games that I played this year. I had so much fun with it. Now, I played it all the way back in March, so I can't really remember everything about it, but the big things I really enjoyed was the story. I was, as a kid, I really enjoyed, like, paranormal, weird-type things, and uh, so the weirdness of the, the story really um, drew me in and the mystery of what was going on, and you'd find different artifacts and notes with things blacked out, and you kind of start piecing things together, and I thought that was really, really cool. The combat was very good, well done. You got different weapons you could use. You also got different abilities you could use, um, like picking up objects and throwing them at people and stuff, which is really helpful in some of the boss fights. Uh, but it was just a great game. It was gorgeous. I loved the look of it. And I'm not someone who's really into graphics, but I thought that really enhanced the gameplay. And part one of the things I really enjoyed was um, it was made by Remedy, so it had a lot of callbacks to Alan Wake, which I hadn't played at the time. But I'd always heard good, good things about it. So this game actually made me go and play Alan Wake right afterwards and love that game too. But I can't say enough good things about this game. I thought it was great. And uh, I really can't think of a bad thing about it. I platinumed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I still have to do the DLC. But I think it's an amazing game. And it's definitely one that everyone should try out. Thanks again, J-Chip, for having me. Back to you. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell icon so you know when my next video is up. Also, comment down below on what you thought of this video game. Big thanks and big shout out to my friend Captain Algebra. Go check out his channel. He has some awesome live streams. He has some awesome video games, monthly unboxings, and great pickups. And overall, the dude is just, he's awesome. He has some weird opinions. But I think that's what makes him really cool. Big thanks to Stuffy Play, Warp Bait, Nia Chant, and Miasma Senpai for supporting me on Patreon. You guys are awesome.